All right, I'll just piece the two of these together afterwards. One minute before these go off. Like I said on the last video, this is just a test. Um, that one does one second burst. So the three o'clock one should only be a one second burst. This one's well, let me do a minimum of a five second burst. It's got four settings, five, 10, 15, and 20 second bursts. And then that one up there, I think you can program it for whatever burst you want it to burst. <clears throat> so that one I've got one second at three o'clock, two seconds at four o'clock, five or three seconds at five o'clock and four seconds at um six o'clock <clears throat> and then basically six o'clock's after dark and we'll probably have them uh pinned up by then <clears throat> but um whatever they don't get at six o'clock they'll get the next morning so they should be going off any second now and the chickens are scratching what i spilt while i was filling this big one <clears throat> It's not exactly level, but hopefully it'll level out in time or I'll have to level it out myself. Wow. It's like waiting for paint to dry. So this one should have like a month, a month's worth of feeding in it. <clears throat> uh, in the winter, I feed them more, but in the summer, <laughs> I feed them less. It's mostly summer is just mostly to get them to come back home. And it depends on how many chickens you got. Uh, we only got like 25 chickens. Actually, less than that. Probably more like 20. Boo! Okay, that was the five second one. I'm right in the line of fire. Luckily, I got glasses on. <laughs> They're going crazy. Now that one should go off next. It should only go off for one second. <clears throat> Timer might be off on it a little bit. They're fighting. That one up there looks like a beehive. <clears throat> now that I got this one set up, I'm going to put that one in the goat yard. Uh, in about a week or two, I'm going to have some new goats. And so I'll put that in their yard for, um, <clears throat> for programming for them. I'm surprised it hasn't gone off yet. Good thing I built this roost stable enough I could use it for a ladder. This roost is pretty solid. Ugh. So I filled it almost to the brim. I got sunflower seeds, chicken scratch, uh, cracked corn, and then the uh, granules. <clears> the <throat> only thing it's missing really is Milo. And maybe, you know, uh, what I also do sometimes is I'll add some cheap dog food to it. And then that also kind of gives them a little bit more protein and stuff. Because they are meat eaters. Or they're omnivores. <clears throat> so... But I got the dog food. Well, there's a tiny bit of dog food in there. But I got the dog food in the bottom of that container. And in the other container. So, the next time I fill this up, it'll have a little bit of dog food in it. Not much. Just a little. 
But like I said, it's just for extra nutrients. It's mostly corn anyways. It's just a little, you know, a little bit of meat. <clears throat> um, with the chickens, I get the cheapest dog or cat food I can find. Uh, with cats and dogs, I get the cheapest, best quality I can find. So I get meat as the first or second ingredient for the cats and dogs. And then I go for the cheapest one of that mix. So I'll compare, I'll shop around, and it varies, it fluctuates. But uh, um, I'll get like two, two different kinds. That way they kind of got a regular blend, a regular mix. <clears throat> some people say you should feed your animals the same food all the time. And some people say you should change it up. And it's been my experience to change it up. But I put them in big uh, containers and mix them up. <clears throat> so they get a good blend anyways. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, dewormer in there. That's the only thing I forgot to do. I was excited about putting this up. Putting it in, you know, putting this up and getting it filled up. I forgot to put the dewormer in it. But uh, one time won't, won't won't hurt i'll do it next time though but yeah i have my own uh anti-parasite herbal blend that i put in all of the animals feed as well so the cats dogs goats chickens everybody gets it <clears throat> well i guess that one's not going to go off i guess it won't go off till four o'clock but anyhow so yeah Oh, and I also wanted this to be below the nest box, so I would not spray food into the nest box. Oh, there's two eggs in there now. And so far, so good. So since there's a new egg in there, I can get rid of this old frozen one. So they're starting to lay. I'm going to date that. And then, uh, yeah, what the heck? Yeah, these things aren't as good as I thought they were. I might have to make my own new, um, whatchamacallit thingies. Yeah, that one broke, that one broke, that one broke. But I'll just get some pop rivets and pop rivet it together. <clears throat> They're going crazy. So yeah, I throw paper in here. Anything biodegradable, I pretty much throw in here. And they scratch it up like crazy. You can see all the shredded paper <clears throat> that they shredded. We threw some old romance novels in here because they're pretty much worthless. And uh, so, yeah, the chickens just scratch through them and tear them up, rip pages out of the books and stuff, and basically break them down. So, <clears throat> talking about getting uh, some sawdust in here, and if we do, I'll basically fill this thing flush with sawdust. <clears throat> and... Um, you know, let them scratch through that and, you know, whatever. But anyways, yeah, this definitely gets them coming back home. Uh, there is some room for improvements, but I think it's, uh, <clears throat> this is probably one of the best ideas I ever had. So, yeah. So if you need an automatic chicken feeder, this is a good idea. This is a great idea. Okay, bye.